Hello everyone! It's me, TJ the Brick Wright, back in the Lego room, and wow, we have some catching up to do. So, in the past few weeks, there have been some major changes in my life. Uh, I've got a brand new computer, a brand new monitor, uh, half of the cables that I had are destroyed due to a family pet getting behind my computer and chewing the crud out of them. So we are down to a single camera right now. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess that's it. I guess that didn't take that long to cover after all. So, oh, all right. Well, easy. All right, let's move on. Who's excited for the contest? We only have until December 9th until the contest is over. So I hope everybody is working hard. Up, coming up next week is uh, the Thanksgiving holiday for the Americas, uh, for North America, for the United States of America. So I'm sure a lot of you who are sharing the holiday with me are going to be spending a little bit of time building your own Star Wars uh, New Republic tanks. But a lot of you have had issues and so some people have been asking about the carrying mechanism for the B-A-A-D-A. -A -A. And I put out some instructions on rebrickable.com that have a retracting mechanism that uses a very similar system to what I used on the Tide Javelin, which I, which is destroyed at my feet right now. Sorry, the Lego room is in a really big mess state, but we're still alive. I'm still alive. I'm here. I'm actually able to record a video today, which I'm so grateful for. Um, yeah, my computer ended up completely dying, going kaput. Um, I have now f almost officially lost every piece of information that was on the old computer, including instructions, studio, studio files, um, <laughs> art, uh, the game that I've been working on for, you know, 15 years. Um, I've lost almost everything. It's very devastating, but we're going to try to move on from it. Um, there are worse things happening in the world today. So perspective, right? But people are still having issues with that carrying mechanism. And I did have a request to show you visually how that thing works. So I apologize. I'm going to be looking over at my monitor um, while I show this just to make sure that I can effectively show you exactly what I'm, what I'm working on here. Okay, so this is similar to what it looks like in the rubricable, uh, rubricable file. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. So here we have our little mechanism here. So it starts off down at the bottom here with just a couple of these axle pins. Um, I do recommend using the axle bricks. Um, instead of the round Technic hole, just because it helps keep things a lot straighter and avoids a lot of issues going upwards. Uh, we then have this section, these little, two little pieces that are just uh, basically 90 degree axle parts. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. I'm sure they're uh, Technic axle connector, 90 degree or something like that. Um, but anyway, most of you probably were trying to figure out how it actually functioned. And the reason it functions is because this section right here does not directly attach to those gray Technic axles. Now, I may have done the colors different on the uh, rubricable instructions, um, but just visually it works better here. So those gray Technic axles, this piece right here is not attached to it, so it slides up and down. Then you have these black Technic axles with the black Technic axles with these gray Technic lift arm pieces, and they are also not connected. So you can see that it slides up and down like that. Now, for those of you who have uh, purchased and built the instructions for the Tide Javelin or the Glaive, these, these are the same or similar pieces that we use for the drop down cockpit mechanism. Um, so you'll probably recognize them quite a bit. So if we look at it, it's actually able to raise the connector that goes into the ship by what six seven studs worth six seven bricks worth i guess i should measure it in studs because it is technic um so technic measures in studs both vertically and horizontally so it raises it like six studs up in the air from where it was so this kind of retracting 
allows you to do some pretty cool stuff, especially because of the fact that it is gravity dropped. Um, sorry, I'm getting a little angled here. Since it is a gravity drop, when you when I've let go of the uh, tank that I've been building, it actually uh, when it drops, it just comes down. Oh, got a little stuck there. It comes down and retracts back into the tank by itself. So it's a very nice, slick and sleek mechanism. Now, the other question I'm sure a lot of you have is how the heck does it actually stay in? Um, I have had to push down this section here back into it, which is actually why I've actually added an extra half lift arm here is because then if this starts to pull out, I can actually see it like that. You can see the little gap there. That tells me, hey, I need to push it back down. It's really easy to do. I just push it back in and shove it and it works out just fine. So there you go. All right, so um, I actually forgot to show you something on this thing. How, it can, ooh, how well it connects to something else. So I can no longer put it in front of the camera because I turned off the autofocus because otherwise it just doesn't work. So you're gonna have to deal with it here. Um, in order to make sure that it works properly, I make sure that this piece here, these connectors, are actually underneath the main support of my tank. So uh, if I take one of these four by four round plates, or not round plates, four by four hollow plates, and then I can snake it down over the top of this, it kind of should give you a, a good idea of what I'm talking about here. Um, I can then attach that plate to the top of those, and then when gravity is pushing down, it's actually uh, not trying to pull away with the studs. It's actually pushing on the Technic pieces instead of the studs. So that's the other little trick that I've been doing with my tank. And yes, I will be showing you my tank briefly. We'll do a whole video on it another time, um, another time soon, hopefully. But for now, uh, we're just going to do a quick one. Uh, what else has been happening? Uh, I have been working a lot. Um, I'm trying to start my own plumbing company, which I have done. Um, it's been pretty busy. Qu quite busy, actually. <laughs> and some changes are going to have to be made, one way or the other. So that's kind of where I'm at that way. Um, the, we, but I got the computer. I got a new computer. I got a new monitor because the old monitor didn't work with the new computer because it used an old DVI and this one uses an HDMI and the adapter didn't work that well. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I actually have been not buying a lot of Lego, a lot of the new Lego sets lately. Um, it's been a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Um, the Marvel Avengers Tower that's coming out next week is something I'm very interested in though. I really like the Marvel stuff. I've always liked Marvel. <laughs> Um, ever since the first MCU movies were coming out, I have really liked it. Um, after the Infinity Saga concluded with Endgame, I kind of shuffled off and uh, haven't really kept up with everything. But the occasional movie I'll watch. I liked Quantumania. I liked Guardians 3. Um, I liked the Loki TV show pretty well. It was interesting. had, a, had some cool concepts. Um, but I could, that's almost all the phase four movies that i've watched i did watch all the spider-man stuff so that that's that's true um but those are the ones that i i liked the other ones pass um all right you guys aren't interested in my opinion of the marvel movies because i'm a star wars guy um for those of you participating in the contest i would highly recommend that you watch uh some videos by ec henry uh watch the doug chang presentations at star wars celebration uh, those are really good starting points for anybody who's trying to get into uh, Star Wars design. Um, E.C. Henry has one that was like uh, April of last year, 2022. Holy cow, it's one of the best breakdowns of what you can do to make a good Star Wars vehicle. And I watch that thing over and over like it's scripture because as far as Star Wars design goes, it is. Um, 
So let me show you what I have been working on and hopefully you enjoy it. Again, I only have the one camera anymore. <laughs> so uh, you're gonna have to just deal with it. So here we go. Ooh, too bright, too much brightness. All right, so here we go. So it's very reminiscent of uh, a droid tank from episode one, but at the same time, it has a lot of uh, techniques and things for Star Wars. And here, whoop, is our little, uh, little bar, <laughs> our little carry mechanism. Um, when this guy is sitting in there, his head does hit my ship. So I do have to take him out for it to be carried, but you wouldn't want to be sitting on the outside of the ship anyway, right? That's the idea. But when I drop it, you can see it fully retracts by itself and it's out of the way of the turret. And yes, you, you did see that. <laughs> All right, as you can see, I've got some troops on here. Um, we can take those guys off, uh, but part of the reason I, I like the little platform is for the troops to be able to ride on it, so that's fun. We've got a little cockpit at the front for our uh, our pilot. Um, there are a lot of reasons why people are going to say this is a terrible design, and I'm going to agree with 90% of those things, <laughs> why this is a terrible design. But at the same time, it's mine, so I, I made choices. And I'll explain those choices in a, in a more full video, but that's kind of where I'm at. As you can see, uh, I did split the cannon on the front so that I could uh, have this thing pop out. I have also experimented with having a single cannon on the front of it, and then I just spun it around and had it carry like that. So both ways work really well. For those of you who are looking for ideas, hopefully that gives you some, some starting points or uh, hopefully some suggestions. Suggestions? inspiration uh, hopefully might inspire you to solve some of the issues that you may be having um, we do not have a lot of contest entries so far and I know part of that has to do with the fact that I haven't been putting up videos and reminding people and being on top of it as well <laughs> um, but I want you to know that I have been working on the contest I have also been looking up uh, concept art I've been looking at uh, watching those videos on Star Wars design because I have some really big projects coming up, including my large vehicle for next year's brick slopes, which I honestly probably should have started already, but with everything else that's been going on, including a master revamp of the Lego room in here so that I could have a larger workspace. Um, stuff just happens, man. <laughs> stuff just happens. Uh, yeah, um, I also will throw out an apology to my patrons. I know I have not been as active on Patreon lately. Uh, all of these issues that I've been having have contributed to the fact that I've not been putting up any videos, not been posting anything, <laughs> because this is just what's happening right now. Uh, man, I'm out of practice with shortening and making my videos concise. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you to all of the people who have been subscribing lately. Um, let's talk about something else real quick before we go. Last thing, I promise, can I promise that? Sure. One last thing and then we'll go. I've been demonetized by me. <laughs> I've chosen to demonetize my videos. Um, I'm not getting anything from them, really. Um, the revenue has actually been steadily declining over time. I know that has to do with the quality of my videos and the quantity of my videos, especially. Um, but it's just not bringing in enough money to make it worth it, worth the hassle. Um, and for those of you who say, well, just sit back and earn money. It's not a hassle. I'm actually talking about your hassle. I hate watching videos with ads. I hate it, but I'm willing to do it to support people. And it seems like People aren't willing to support me in that way nearly as much. Um, my patron, my Patreon has six, seven patrons right now. Uh, I think it's down, it could be down to five, if I'm honest. Uh, it could be down to five patrons. And that's a little frustrating. Um, I don't charge very much. I, I don't ask for very much from patrons. 
and I obviously don't ask anything from you guys. I don't even ask you to do the regular YouTube things, and I won't even say them here because I have principles. Uh, but I'm moving away from the idea that everything I do needs to be monetized because I don't think it has to. I've seen very successful people that are monetized, and that's okay. Um, I think the place where I actually earn money and I feel good about earning money is selling those instructions that I make. Um, and other, other than that, I don't see a reason to monetize YouTube anymore. It uh, never brought in very much. didn't even bring in enough to cover the contests. And like I said, it got down, I think, between my last two checks, it was six months. So... A uh, hundred dollar payout over six months. It's almost, I, it really doesn't feel like it's worth the hassle anymore to make you guys sit through ads if if I'm not even benefiting from them. So, congratulations. You're welcome, Galaxy. No more ads. Hope you guys are having a good one. We'll catch you next week, which will be right after Thanksgiving. Hopefully, we can uh, have something fun to show you in the Lego room again that week as well. So this week we had our my cool little tank that we'll do a full video on another time. Um, but I actually have a couple other tank ideas that I might be throwing out there just for fun. So we'll kind of see what happens. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. And until next time in the Lego room, make sure you play well.